It's Friday, February 8th, 2013. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson inside a lab at the Chemistry and Computer Science Building. And here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. Experiments led by Dr. Jorge Gardea Torres Day have shown that certain man-made nanoparticles that land and soil can be transferred from the roots of plants to the grains, thus entering the food supply via crops grown for human consumption. A study published online on January 15th in the American Chemical Society journal ACS Nano was selected among all 40 ACS journals as the featured paper this week on the American Chemical Society website. The study tested two of the most common man-made nanoparticles, zinc oxide and cerium dioxide, and laced the soil of soybean plants with them. The study showed cerium dioxide, which is commonly used in sunscreens and oil refining, remained intact when it was absorbed by the plant and was transferred all the way into the edible soybean grains. On the other hand, zinc oxide, commonly used in sunscreens and cosmetics, was transferred to the grain but had broken down into a non-toxic form. While studies are underway, Gardea Torres Day says there is currently little information on the potential health implications of nanoparticles. Gardea Torres Day now plans to study the effects of various sizes and types of nanoparticles on different food crops. The National Science Foundation, Environmental Protection Agency and U.S. Department of Agriculture funded the study. Inside UTEP's Educational Technology Research Laboratory, you'll find a trio of 3D printers that are part of a multimedia concept that Dr. Daniel Tillman expects his students to use to motivate their future pupils to learn about music, math, and technology. Among the program's goals are to improve teachers' pedagogical knowledge of math so they can make it more meaningful and memorable to students. Determine the impact of math lessons that incorporate music composition and musical instrument design on student success. And see how the 3D printers could be used to integrate STEM with non-STEM fields such as music, entrepreneurship, and ecology to promote math education. While the idea of mixing math and music is not new, the scope and technology is. Tillman plans to use music as a non-threatening introduction to math concepts that will help students design simple musical instruments on computers. That information will be fed into the 3D printer to create the instruments that they can use during a taped performance in the lab's music studio. The printers use spools of plastic line, similar to the type used in weed trimmers. The line is fed into a heating unit on the top of the printer that melts the object that was copied. While whistles can be made in less than 20 minutes, flutes take about four hours. The American Library Association has announced its Youth Media Awards winners for the top books for children and young adults. UTEP creative writing professor Benjamin Alire Science novel Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe has won the Pura Bel Pre Award, the Stonewall Book Award, and been recognized as a 2013 Michael L. Prince Award for Excellence in Young Adult Literature Honor Book. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe brings readers the tale of 15-year-old loner Aristotle Mendoza and his friendship with Dante Quintana. The novel was more recently lauded as one of the top 10 fiction books for young adults by the ALA as well as called out by the Association for Library Service to Children as a 2013 notable children's book. Award presentations will be held at the ALA Annual Conference this June in Chicago and signs plans on attending. Remember to check out onthemove.utep.edu for all the latest updates about campus transformation. There you'll find contractors are ahead of schedule on the patch and paint work on the exterior of the UTEP Psychology Building, which was built in 1951. The patching and prime coats have been completed and workers will begin painting the final coat very soon. For more information about these and other stories, log on to utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!